hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is this update can't be downloaded and installed because it's not yet ready for your device so if you're receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to start app readiness service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now over here you can see app readiness make a double click on app readiness and then set the startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and now you can try to update your windows 11 still not working the next step is to move this folder to different location now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive over here you can see win re agent folder now if you don't see this folder on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see this folder but still if you don't have this folder you can skip this step you can follow the next step but if you have this folder you can just copy this folder and then you can paste it you can create a backup first maybe you can paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup now you can delete this folder now once this is deleted now you can open windows settings and then you can update your windows 11 now once the update is complete restart your computer so if the update is successful restart your computer and after the system restart you can put this folder back to the c drive so if you want you can put it back and once this is back now still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open windows settings and then go to system and then go to troubleshoot and over here you can click on other troubleshooters and then here you can see windows update click on run and let the troubleshoot complete once the troubleshoot is complete you can restart your computer and then update your windows 11 and then check still not working restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then go to services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with windows update selected over here now make a right click and then click on restart or start now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now make a right click on background intelligent transfer service and then click on restart or start now you can try to update your windows 11 and then check now still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file now click on yes to allow now if there is any update over here you will see the install option or update option in my case it's already up to date so if you see update or install install it using windows 11 installation installation assistant and then check now the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here write down the name of the update which you are unable to install so for example you can write down the name of the update over here which you are unable to install this is just an example so click on search now and then select the right version you have to download the right version now for this you have to type in w-i-n-v-e-r in windows search box then click on winver and here you will see which version you have so in my case it's version 24h2 so find 24h2 in the list and you have to download that particular one for this update there is no 24h2 but you have to as per your version you have to download the right version now also open windows settings and then go to system and then go to about and over here you will see what kind of operating system you have so in my case it's x64 based computer so it for me it's version 24h2 x64 based system for if you have if you have 23h2 x64 then you have to download this one if you have windows 11 version 22h2 and x64 base system then you have to install this one if you have windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system then you have to download that update and this is just an example 
So click on download and then you click on this blue hyperlink and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, uh, you can just click on this file and then you can install the update manually from Microsoft Update Catalog website. Now the next step is to reset Windows update components. Now for this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy it till here. Now once you copy it, now open notepad on your computer and then in the notepad you can paste all the command and then go to file on the top click on save as and then you can name this file as wufix.bat and for save as type you can select all files and you can set the location to desktop save it now you can go to desktop here you can see wufix file make a right click make a right click on wufix and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete first first of all it will stop all the windows update component and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time this process will take some time. Once all the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update component. And once this is done, you can restart your computer, but let the process complete first. Once it is done, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can update your Windows 11 and then check. Now still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool to update your Windows 11. Go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.